Now, I know exactly what you're thinking right now after reading a title like this. Helly, how are you doing today? And that's really nice of you guys to ask. I'm okay. I hope you guys are okay as well. But there are more pressing matters at hand right now, such as Desperado, a once extremely sought after perk, an almost unstoppable force of pure fire rate, damage, yellow numbers on people's heads endlessly, and witnessing the deletions of teams after only a simple headshot and reload following. And you would be set, just like that. Rapid Hit and Desperado was the standard and extremely reliable. Could never blame a soul for using it because it's just that good. Now, however, <sighs> It is not the same. Gone are the days of stupidly easy kills and team wipes in trials. Desperado we know today? It's... It's not the same. <laughs> it's... Well, it's nerfed. I think it's so weird to see it tuned down this hard after so long. It really felt like everyone was just used to it by this point. Regardless, Desperado is very average now. And obviously still able to string kills together, but... A complete night and day change from how it was. Rip in peace to the Desperado Golden Age. Truly a sad day. No worries though. I'm here to tell you that Harmony is better than Desperado anyway. I'll show you guys my case and you can tell me if I'm of the big dumb variety. Or if I actually have a point here. Sweaties especially. I'm relying on you guys to call me out here. Listen, we all know Harmony as a not so popular perk for crucible anyway and for those who don't know after a kill with another weapon it improves your weapon with harmony on with a flat 20 percent damage buff along with a bit of handling as well i think it's 15 percent so i guess it kind of relies on your playstyle and what map you're on because obviously your secondary could be an smg sidearm sniper just about anything that you feel comfortable with getting the first kill with before switching to your primary with Harmony on. Part of this loadout does include running two primaries, which I know that comes at a very heavy cost for a certain few players out there. And listen, it's worth it. It'll be okay, Meta Matthew. How I got the idea for this video is from the new pulse rifle from the dungeon, the new purpose, which of course is unique because it drops with Desperado. And when I was using it, obviously that's when I realized, huh, this Desperado really does suck now, doesn't it? And then I got a few Harmony rolls and decided, screw it, I'll give it a go. And what do you know, it wasn't bad. I would be using a Messenger with Harmony on it, but of course, you can't earn that right now, and the only Messenger I have is literally Rapid Fire and Desperado, so oof, as they say. Ditching Desperado is a bit odd for me, so I was messing around with a few ideas, and the first one being keeping it very simple. I would be on my Hunter so I can use the Solar subclass, of course, Solar 3.0, so I could take advantage of the swoopity swoop dodge backflip thing. Hunter mains, you know what I'm talking about. And upon doing so, it would give me Radiant, which would instantly give me a 10% damage buff for 15 seconds. Of course, very useful. So I would essentially use my non-harmony weapon, get a kill with it, immediately use my ability for Radiant, then switch to my Harmony equipped Pulse Rifle. And I know it sounds a bit odd, but it kind of works with a good amount of success. I was surprising myself with some of the games I was getting. I was getting some nice kill streaks and just getting used to playing with this newfangled Harmony perk. The difference between ditching the Hunter ability and instead just switching weapons after a kill for Radiant was 41 to the head compared to 47 to the head. Now I am absolutely not a numbers kind of guy when it comes to what makes a Pulse Rifle become a three burst to the head, two to the body for the kills all that fancy stuff number people with dps knowledge in the comments enlighten me but it is very useful for shredding those void overshields and as well the lordly splendor as well as dealing with keeping damage reasonably high while at range really every map i was either using a scout rifle to pick people off sometimes an smg sometimes a sniper rifle i suck at sniping now thanks to a certain first person shooter i played for years in the past a big thanks to call of duty i am now cursed with the illness known as drag scoping. Bah! Anyway, after a few hours of switching between weapons, I thought, hold on a minute. Trials was recently here, and during that weekend, I was grinding a lot, and I was able to get the new Trials side armor called Forgiveness. It is a beautiful two burst archetype, and pretty much the breech light side arm from the days of the Sundial playlist, if any of you OGs remember those times. Not the best of game modes looking back at it. Basically, it's an aggressive frame, hits hard, and can roll with high range. And of course, it can also roll with Harmony. The perfect match. Get kill with sidearm or pulse rifle. Dodge for radiant. Switch weapons and enjoy mopping up kills much, so much more efficiently and effectively. I'm losing my English here. <sighs> 
This video really is me basically discovering Harmony in PvP and actually giving it a try. <laughs> like a caveman discovering fire. Oh yeah, halfway through playing, I also suddenly had the invincibility glitch happen to me, which is always good fun. Guys, can you kill me? Am I gonna die to the heat? No, I'm not. Hey, happy fortune. Can you see me? Hey! I'll stop you from killing the guy in the super, come on. It's anyone? Oh yeah, that hits him, doesn't it? Abilities hit them, I forgot. So theoretically, I could just do that. Don't worry, I left the lobby after that kill. My god though, Harmony slaps. Is that how you say it? I don't know. And also, check out this warlock trying to use a well on the B flag, and thankfully, myself and a teammate blade barraged at the exact same time, and it ended up with what I can only describe as overkill. Anyway, listen. Desperado is still fine and usable, but man, the flexibility you can have from switching to either weapon after a kill, whether that's close range, medium range, I guess every range really, you have that variety there. You can switch between close range, kill a close range shotgunner or fusion rifle user, then boom, switch weapon to your pulse, you have an overpowered pulse rifle. And vice versa, get a kill with a pulse rifle, switch to your sidearm, you are now a menace to go 1v1 with close range. Plenty of space for closing the gap and shutting down shotgun users. It handles sitting back and picking your fights extremely well. I did try to be more aggressive with the weapon swap stuff with this, and I made the most of it and probably made it more difficult than it had to be. <laughs> it still works though. You know, it gets the job done. All I'm saying is, give Harmony a second look the next time it drops on a weapon. I would say the messenger specifically, but you, you kind of can't get that pulse rifle anymore. Right now anyway, maybe in 2026. So the new purpose pulse rifle, at least, can roll with Harmony. That was my initial inspiration to making this video anyway, and man, I wish... I just wish I had a rapid hit kill clip messenger. <sighs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of your faces and I hope you all have a wonderful day ahead. Please leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. And listen, come hang out in the Discord. Join my Discord using the link below. It's in the description somewhere. I'll, I'll link it. Don't worry about that. Come join. And check my Twitch channel out too if you're wanting some uh, live heli content. <laughs> okay, I'm still very new to streaming. Still, until next time though, guys. Take care. Love your faces. I said that already. Okay.